Oops, not that secret, eh? <laughs> All right, guys, you've seen the thumbnail. So today I'm gonna to cover off some things that you might not know about this uh, new Ford Ranger, and also a few things that I've picked up across the last 12 months that you might find quite handy. I reckon the engineers at Ford and the designers have had a bit of fun with this vehicle. Over the last 12 months of ownership, I've been finding these little Easter eggs spread across the car. I actually couldn't find it anywhere where they're all detailed in one list. So this video, I'm hoping to put that to bed. Some of these are quite funny. Um, so it's good to see the designers at Ford um, have a bit of a sense of humor. I'll start with the Easter eggs that are hidden inside the vehicle to start with. And uh, check out this, hey? Little fryer symbol <laughs> right in front of the drink holders. And believe it or not, it actually holds uh, a medium fries from McDonald's. So I actually tried it earlier and it does actually work. You do have to squeeze the bottom of the uh, little pouch to fit it in, but it does work. So that's pretty cool. In the center console here, we've got a few little icons. So you'll notice there's some sunglasses, keys and a wallet, <laughs> uh, and obviously a drink as well. So I'm in the rear of the Ranger now, and um, on the back window, you'll see a little wheelbarrow. So it's on the uh, passenger side, and it's actually full of some material in the little wheelbarrow. So um, that's obviously a bit of a joke indicating uh, how high you should fill your tray. I've flipped sides now, and um, on the other side, so driver's side of the rear, uh, there's a little old Ranger logo as well. It's got Ranger since 1983 on there. So we've moved to the outside of the vehicle now, and I'm just next to the driver's side front tire at the moment. So if you look on the inside of your inner guard, um, I had to go under the vehicle to have a look and see that because it's quite light. There's actually a map of the Asia Pacific region, and you can see Australia highlighted with a little home symbol. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I'll flip sides. This is the passenger front tire. And on the inside guard here, you're gonna see some um, images embossed into the plastic. We've got all the uh, old grills from uh, obviously Rangers from the early years. So I assume the top one is from uh, 1983 down, but that's really, really cool. So this is little things that Ford have hidden across the vehicle. This one I'm not sure is an Easter egg, but still funny. Um, under the side steps on the vehicle, you'll see some embossed text which says wrong side up. I think it's pretty obvious um, the way these need to feature up. So again, I think that's a bit of a funny one from Ford. So we found one in the engine bay as well. So when you open the bonnet up, you're gonna see some text embossed in the plastic, which is built Ford Tough. If you own the new Everest, I'd love to know if there's any other Easter eggs that you've found in your vehicle. I've seen someone comment that there's a roof rail on the Everest and it's got a little abseil symbol. So that's one that I'm aware of, but I'm sure there's more. Another cool feature on the rear of this Ranger is actually a measuring tape that's integrated into the tailgate. Now on some models, you might not actually see that measuring tape because it might actually be hidden by a rubber seal, but it's actually there on every model. So um, that's pretty cool as well. So uh, if you do need to measure something when you're out and about, you can use that. I'm now gonna jump back inside the vehicle and just run over a couple of things that I've picked up across the last 12 months of ownership that you might find helpful. Now, of course, there's something called a manual, but uh, who reads that, hey? Okay, the first tip I'm gonna run through is if you're driving off-road, um, how to turn off the traction control properly. Uh, so this is mainly if you're driving in four high, say on the beach, so it's not too soft sand and you can run in four high. Uh, you need to turn off the traction control fully uh, to make sure that your ESC and those sort of things are turned off. Otherwise, I found you can get bogged down off-road. Next to your gear selector dial, uh, there's a little pad there. Uh, you wanna make sure you're pressing that uh, traction control button and giving it a long hold. You'll notice some things pop up on the screen there and it'll run through traction control and the ESC, so electronic stability control being turned off. If you own the V6, there's a bit of a party trick there where you can turn off the vehicle in drive as long as you're stationary and it'll put the vehicle in park for you. The next tip I'm gonna run through is in relation to towing and um, using the progressive range select feature. When I started driving this vehicle at first, I tried using all 10 gears and I was finding the transmission was getting warm in some situations. So I've been locking out gears nine and 10 whenever I hook the van up. It's super easy to do. All you do is press the minus button on the side of your shifter and then press it again to lock out the gears that you want. So each time you then press the minus button, it will lock out the gears. So in the instance of locking out gears nine and 10, you would press the minus button once and then press it a further two times to lock out those gears. If you're like me and beeps annoy you off-road, this tip's gonna be helpful. So if you look in your center console area, there's a little P button. Give that button a press when you're off-road and it'll uh, eliminate those uh, annoying beeps when you're going through tight tracks. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you found any other Easter eggs, I'd love to know. Drop it in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It'd be awesome. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.